Hello, beautiful family. Stephen here. I still find it really odd that I seem to be looking over there when it comes to it's so so weird, but I can't just keep staring at that voice. Anyway, hello. If you're new to this channel, I'm a preacher of the gospel of Jesus Christ. You must believe the gospel of Jesus Christ. If you don't want to be left behind for what's coming upon this world and you want to be taken up in the rapture, you must believe the gospel that Jesus Christ on that cross died for all our sins. He was buried and rose again from the dead. And all God is wanting for, for you to be saved with everlasting life and granted a guaranteed place, one way ticket to heaven is to believe that in your heart, that Jesus did that for you on that cross and he rose again from the dead. Confess him as the Lord or call upon the name of the Lord for whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved as the scripture states. So I just, I did say I would come and tell you where I'm going to go preaching. So we're going to a city called Leeds. Um, it's, it's chucking it down when <laughs> rain tomorrow. So we're both going out with big umbrellas. Um, I just feel that, that I've got such an urgency in my heart. It's off the charts. I, I'm like, I'm so excited and I'm, I'm trying to remain calm at the same time. And it's, it's I'm trying to organise this for tomorrow anyway. So we're definitely going to Leeds. I just want to sh show you, hold on, show you some of these uh, gospel tracks that we, that we, uh, hold on a minute, I'll do it this way. <laughs> just, hold on, sorry about that. So these, I've got all these gospel tracks from, uh, I got them off uh, another sister who printed them off for me. So that's one of them. I am not an alien, and I'm not from outer space. What does it say? I am a demon from a different dimension. What does it say at the bottom? Speak the name of Jesus, and I will flee from you. But I didn't even know if she'd put these in there. I know she'd put certain ones in there, but I've only just gone through them now and found these other ones. So... Um, because when Jesus descends from heaven with a shout, with the, vo the voice of the archangel and the trump of God, the dead in Christ will rise first, and then all Christ born again believers who have believed the, that gospel message that Jesus died on the cross for our sins will be caught up in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. And we're told to comfort one another with these words. Then the elites of this world have already got it all staged. Uh, with demonic working with demonic entities to stage a fake alien invasion so that's that's that one and then um uh, this is quite good i didn't know she put this in there either um some 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 wake up rapture is imminent so please wake up if it happens because um jesus christ is coming um hold on let me see what else uh there's some some really good ones here she she uh, uh Cashless society coming soon, Mark of the Beast. Um, and, uh, and then I've got these other ones, um, Mark of the Beast 666 is coming. So, um, Gareth's coming with me tomorrow. So, uh, I've just got, I, I, I'm gonna, Rob might be joining as well. I don't know yet, so I'll find out. But here's another, here's another uh, gospel tract. <laughs> uh, sorry. Uh, alien abduction or the rapture have you been left behind i mean uh that that should should prompt somebody to think well i don't want to be left behind you know what i mean um to to face this horrible uh um uh, thing apocalypse that's coming um then there's these ones uh let's say millions millions vanish millions vanish 1 Thessalonians 4, 16 to 18. Um, there's there's some, really, some good ones here. Bible prophecy is being fulfilled. Wake up. Jesus is coming. Quite good at reading back to front, <laughs> aren't I? Because <laughs> that's what his views are for me. And there's other ones as well. So, oh. So, yeah, so we're going out tomorrow. I, I, I'll... I'll be coming on Scarborough train station in the morning. Um, 
I'm just going to I'm just going to double check because on the website it says that everything's up and running. Um I'm just going to check that there's no strikes t tomorrow. I should have checked before but um if there is any change and we 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 can't do it for any reason. I'll let you know, but um, one way or the other, we're going to do something tomorrow. I'm not. I'm not going to pack all my bag and go to to you know uh, to station without doing something. Um, so even even if even if it meant Gareth getting on a bus from York to Scarborough, and we preached in my own hometown. We'd have to do that. We're going to do something. It's just that wherever we go. There's people wherever we go. There's people every in every town and every village city that need to be saved, need to lay hold of their salvation and believe the gospel while they still have chance, because Jesus Christ is about to come. Uh, time is time. Time is up. I believe time is is up, and um, I'm I'm praying for all of you in the United States of America. I saw one video from uh, oh, a guy called Louis. Um, he said there's potentially up to a hundred tornadoes across the states in in states where they don't even get tornadoes, and earthquakes where they don't get to uh, earthquakes and stuff like this going on because it's weaponized weather. That's how they're taking down the U.S. with weaponized weather. And he said, it's true, it's a fact. Um, just, if you don't believe me, what I'm saying about this weaponized weather, just just at least do a little search and you'll find it's very true. Start with harp uh, weather manipulation and you'll see the chemtrails and it's all tied together um, with frequencies and prob probably unknown, unknown weapons where they can cause earthquakes and cause these... Um, torrential downpours and stuff so I just can't wait to leave Ooh, goosebumps all over me then again Ooh, it's, not, it's not even particularly cold I've got, got my little hold on got my little fire on and <laughs> yeah it's, it's, it is yeah it's gotten a bit colder but oh, messages <laughs> right okay then I'm just a short message just to ask you if you would please pray for me and Gareth that God would empower us to to tell people um, that we could get the message across with love, that the gospel has free course, that we'll be protected, and um, anything else that comes into your mind, we'd really appreciate it. You're just, you're all part of this. Um, not everybody's called to go and preach on the streets. Um, you know, many of you are called to be prayer warriors, and we're all, we're all, we're all equally loved in the sight of the Lord. I know that for a fact. Um, you know, there's not one above or one below, in, in, in terms of how much God loves us. You know, so, so just know that there's not one more special uh, than than the other. We, in God's sight, we're all precious. So precious you are and so special in God's sight that God himself would put on the flesh of a normal human being to be the blood atoning sacrifice for our sins. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes on him should not perish but have everlasting life. So... Don't be left behind because this rapture event is going to take place very, very soon. Um, I, I've got a, quite a strong feeling in my heart that this potentially could be the last cha chance I get out to go and preach the gospel. So if, you, if you're watching this just by chance and you haven't believed on Jesus, don't take your chance. The Holy Word of God is true and accurate. It's... Um, it's uh, is eerily, eerily uh, accurate, so eerily and so amazing, um, telling us thousands of years ago what's happening now, and it's all being... Where's that one? Hold on. <clears throat> hit, hit, hold on. Bible prophecy is being fulfilled. Uh, wake up, Jesus is coming. 
Um, and it is just goosebumps all over me again. <laughs> all right then, guys. I, I can't wait to get out of here. But in the meantime, let's be strong, brave, and courageous. And do not fear. Do not fear. Put 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 your trust in the Lord and just stay steadfast in your faith. On that straight and narrow, not turning to the left, not turning to the right, just straight on Jesus in focus and um, yeah, just stay in prayer, just read his word out loud and um, I'm just trying to advise you, <laughs> I'm not telling you what to do, I'm just advising you what's, well, what God's advising me as well. So I love you all, I love you, I look you in the, <laughs> I love you all, beautiful family. It's a crazy thing this is looking over there but anyway i love you all and um you i'll either see you in the clouds or you'll see me at the train station tomorrow i'm so excited <laughs> i really am i really am just, boosh we're gonna go go up <laughs> any moment i'm so happy i won't well, we will be I'm, well i'm happy just knowing that he's coming i can see the finish line in front of us and um we see that day approaching. I mean, I, I feel like we might only have a couple of days left. That's how I feel. But that's my feelings. So don't, you know, don't uh, say Stephen said we're going into the... No, this is how it feels. It feels like we might go tonight. This is how close we are to the rapture, I believe. I mean, the Lord wouldn't have had me going out. I pray every time I go out that the Lord would put his words into me into my heart and I'd speak his words and I'm preaching that Jesus Christ is coming and like this he would not have me going out um for the last three years preaching that Jesus is coming if he wasn't because he is and you all know he is and you you can't wait just like me I I know so hold fast guys hold on because um Flight seven 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 <laughs> is about to leave any moment. Um, so I love you all. I love you so much, and I appreciate your prayers and I appreciate your support, all of you. I can't wait to be with you. So I'll see you in the cloud. I've got to get my rucksack packed now, and it's it's half past eleven at night. <laughs> so I would best get moving. All right. I love you all. Um, God bless and. Sweet dreams tonight. Pray before you go to bed. Put on the whole armour of God before you go to bed. And I just pray. Just let me pray. Dear loving Heavenly Father, it's that gospel track, Lord, that's made me think about um, these entities, Lord. Lord God, I know because I was paralysed more than 300 times at least by wicked entities, Lord. Um, and that the... the Lord, if anybody else watching is going through this so-called sleep paralysis, Lord God, which is actually, oh Lord, it's actually demons um, attacking us in the night. I just pray if anybody watching is going through anything like that, I pray you would just say the word and you would stop it immediately and rebuke those demons and Lord God, I pray you empower everybody to take their authority in Jesus Christ, Lord God, to to take a step of faith and and oh Lord God, I just pray you, you put a complete stop for your glory's sake to anybody who's going through this suffering in the night with these foul entities paralyzing them. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Right, guys, I get best get going, but um, be of good cheer. Um, for we have overcome this world because we have believed on Jesus Christ, who who overcame for us. So the Son of God, Jesus Christ. I can't wait to be with Him. I can't wait. And what's coming on this world afterwards? It's so terrible. This is so terrible. I, please pray that I just be calm. Calm while I'm um, preaching. Thank you. I love you all. Can't wait to be with you.